Hey guys, this is Kerbal Essences and welcome to my video tutorial on how to perform a docking maneuver in Kerbal Space Program. There are many tutorials like it, but this is mine. Enjoy! To follow along you have to be able to get into orbit already. Don't worry, I will link my craft in the description of this video. My plan now is to give you a quick overview about the mission in the tracking station. I'll then go on showing you my launcher and the VAB to then jump directly into action. Let's go! As you can see here our destination is already in orbit. This orbit you see is an equatorial one, which means it is right above the equator. This is the easiest to begin with, because it doesn't matter where our target is during liftoff. Aiming for an inclined orbit is a little more complicated, but I will keep it simple for now to teach the basics. I will return to this in the end of the video. See you in the VAB. This is our rocket, which was designed after the famous Russian Soyuz launcher. As you can see, it consists of three parts. The bottom one is the first and second stage, which will boost us into space on a suborbital trajectory. The third stage will circularize our orbit and do all the maneuvering. You might have guessed it, the last part is our payload. It is a small fuselage, which will connect two core elements of something, well, secret which you will see in the next video. We are finished here and are ready for launch. Before we start our engines however, let's mark our destination as a target. To do so, we switch to map mode by pressing M or clicking on the symbol in the bottom left corner. Clicking left, set as target and that's it. M brings us back to the launch site. Okay, 3, 2, 1 and lift off. Since you know how getting into orbit works, I will fast forward this one quickly. The real Soyuz rocket by the way, is famous for its so-called Korolev Cross. It was named after the Russian rocket scientist Sergei Korolev, which developed this four booster stage. You can see the boosters forming a cross from the ground after they are separated. We are nearly in space and before we can circularize our orbit, we have to make sure we are on the right altitude to do so. Here in map mode, we can see if our target is in front or behind us. If it is in front, we have to catch up and this is achieved by a lower orbit. The lower the orbit, the faster the orbital speed. The inverse is true for a higher orbit. If our target was behind us, we had to slow us down and therefore achieve a higher orbit. The closer our orbit is to the target's one, the longer we have to wait for our ship to catch up, but the easier our final approach will be. You have to find a sweet spot for yourself. I choose such a distance, which should bring us close in no time. Here we are and we have almost catch up. All we have to do now is to raise our orbit, so it crosses the target's one. Since we have marked our target, two different markers will appear. They tell us our closest approach. Every single digit value should do it for now. Time for rendezvous guys, I hope you didn't forget the flowers. We can now switch to our target speed by clicking on the speed right above the nav ball. This is the relative speed we have to it. We have to slow us down as we come closer and ultimately end at zero next to it. At the same time however, we have to make sure we are not too slow as well. Our relative speed changes due to the curved nature of our orbit. Keeping our relative speed high allows us to neglect this change. This takes a little practice, but as a rule of thumb, you can simply keep the target speed at the same amount of digits your distance in meter has divided by 100. If you are at 5000 meters for example, you should be no faster than 50 meters per second. At 500 meters it is 5 meters per second and eventually at 10 meters only 0.1 meters per second, which is the lowest speed which can be displayed in KSP and is just right for docking. 
to slow our target speed down we have to burn towards the retrograde marker, which is the yellow one with the cross. You can see how the speed drops. A very important step now is to burn a little next to the marker. As you can see you can push it around like that. If you manage to push your retrograde marker on top of the retrograde target marker, you are exactly aiming to your target. You slow down and reorient yourself in the right direction at the same time. I do now burn towards the prograde marker, in order to keep the speed in the levels I have mentioned before. This is fantastic, look at that. The closest approach dropped to almost zero. Now let's keep slowing down until we eventually reach our target. I come to a stop now to have some time to think about what to do next. We have to align the docking ports and in order to do that we aim at the target docking port like so and control our ship from ours. Using our RCS we can maneuver much more precisely now. We can toggle it on pressing R on our keyboard. H and N move us forward and backwards while I, J, K and L translate us up, down, left and right. We can now push us roughly in front of the docking port. Using the translation keys we can push around our ship's marker like so, to always aim at it, in order to come to a full stop relative to our target. Being roughly in front of it we can point our docking port at the target marker and give us a little push. As we fly towards it, we can again push our marker around to mark the target precisely. This avoids a lot of frustration missing it. Slowly and we're done. That's it, this is how docking works. The last thing I will show you now is how to time your launch correctly to match an inclined orbit. It's very simple. Just use the tracking station and wait until the launch site nearly crosses the target orbit. Then launch and burn towards the same inclination. The key here is to switch to orbit speed, so you can see your true trajectory including Kerbin's rotation. Keep the yellow marker in the right direction and you can't miss it. If you still do, which is nothing to worry about, you can correct it. As long as your target is orbiting the same body, both orbit planes cross each other at two points. These points are displayed as the ascending and the descending node. Correcting your inclination is done right there. Ascending means your craft crosses the target plane from the bottom to the top and descending accordingly from the top to the bottom. Due to that we have to burn downwards on the ascending node and upwards on the descending node. In version 0.25 of KSP up and downward markers have been added to the nav ball, which makes it very easy to point in the right direction. This concludes the video and I hope to see you in the next one, if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.